Well, it's Kenny Cooper and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a very light dethatching with a pull bind dethatcher. Um, I don't know if you would even call it a dethatching. It's mainly just going to loosen up a little bit of dead material, get some of the leaves that are matted down. So that's why I say a light dethatching. It's more or less going to be raking. With a couple acres, you can't just get out here and rake. You'd be out here for, uh, you know, a week doing it. So we're gonna just pull this round. Um, if you've got a few acres, obviously you're gonna have some form of a riding mower, tractor, something to pull this around behind. They're not that expensive and it gives you the option of getting the stuff loosened back up come summer, or I'm sorry, springtime. Say we got a little bit of matted down grass and some leaves matted down or whatnot. So they say basically we're gonna be raking the yard, not not necessarily dethatching it. All right, here's some of our matted down leaves, whatnot. A little bit of dead material in there. I say essentially we're just gonna be raking the yard, not really dethatching. Here's quite a bit of dead material hanging out in here. So let's get to it. Okay, well, we've got it all dethatched, went over it two times in two different directions. Like I say, not necessarily calling this dethatching though, more of raking. If you wanted to be more aggressive with it, you can put a weight on top of it, keep it down into the grass a little bit farther. This without any weight on it, actually just kind of bouncing along. The tines are like springs, I don't know. <clears throat> Say with the weight on it, it will get down into the thatch layer and dig in a lot farther and tear more up, but I don't really have any thatch issues. Sorry, can't talk. I don't really have any thatch issues. So say this was more of a raking than a dethatching. So for those of you out there that have the large yard and want an option for raking, that's pretty much about it you, there's no way you're coming out here with a rake for a week straight so hopefully you can see some of this area behind me 
see how much work it how much grass and debris and whatnot it pulled up. The leaves. So, as always, if you can like, give it that thumbs up, you know, leave me a comment, let me know what else you uh, would like to see in a video, or if you're learning anything, and subscribe if you want to see any future stuff this area i'm standing in and all the way back here is all getting a pretty good overseed i didn't dethatch back there because you'll be seeing in a later video how i'm going to take care of that i actually want to rip a little bit of the grass out and give the overseeding a better chance so stay tuned for that one until next time see you guys later